Hello, I'm Yo Ozama. I'm lead instructional coach for Salinas Union High School District in Salinas, California. Hi, my name is Ann Caviello. I currently teach Spanish at Harbor High School in Santa Cruz, California. The best way to think about how we can increase our learner's engagement is to put ourselves in the learner's shoes again. How do we learn best? How do we overcome and embrace challenges during the learning? How do we stay engaged throughout the learning event? I recently bought an e-bike, just like so many other Americans. I live close to bike trails and that's something I always wanted to try. After riding for a month, I was so thrilled to accomplish my first 30 mile ride the other day. As a novice rider, you can imagine how nervous I was. I still am, but I feel so much more confident now. Looking back on my experience as a learner, there are several points that helped me stay engaged. My motivation to stay healthy was my clear purpose. The goal was observable and tangible. How well I achieved my goals was indicated by some data points. I also learned new cycling terms such as cadence, along with road manners. In addition, I had an avid cyclist friend who took me to trails and guided me with useful cycling techniques. A place to share my accomplishments and receive kudos from my friend motivates me to go further and also provides me an opportunity to reflect on my performance. How can I go further and faster next time? What do I want to do differently? In order to create an engaging learning environment in both face-to-face -face and online settings, we must consider similar elements. In the next 20 minutes, Anne and I will share the essential elements in creating and facilitating engaging learning experiences in our classrooms. And you mentioned the successful engagement in the immigration unit you did with your Spanish 3 heritage speakers class. Could you share the lesson and strategies you used to engage students? Sure. One way I engage learners is to choose a relevant topic and a compelling purpose for my lessons or units. It's important to choose a topic that is not only of high interest, but also critical to the students that will both promote their achievement and identify their unique cultural strengths. As a teacher of heritage language learners, I must always have this in mind. In my first year, heritage language classes comprise mostly of ninth and 10th graders. I always teach a unit on immigration, focusing on the current issues to make the content relevant to students, giving them options from which to choose. This unit is intentionally at the end of the year because by March or April, we've had enough time to cultivate trust in one another and to create enough safe space for them to share their stories and opinions. The final task for this unit was for students to write a letter to one of the detainees or refugees at the Otay Mesa Detention Center along the San Diego, California, Mexico border providing a message of encouragement to them during the COVID-19 pandemic. After establishing the task that reflects that purpose, I brainstormed the content knowledge and language skills needed. In order for students to successfully write a compelling letter that relates to and gives hope to detainees, my students had to obtain broader knowledge of how the pandemic was impacting the lives of immigrants. First, I wanted students to hear and read stories of immigrants who were having a positive impact in the United States during COVID-19 and who were now being labeled as essential workers by the media by risking their lives to help others. Based on these stories, students wrote a thank you message to one of the essential worker immigrant heroes we had read about or to someone they knew personally to honor and value their work. Not only is providing an authentic task, such as this one, important for student connection to the world, students also gain confidence in using new words and phrases 
This promotes learner engagement. The second part of the unit was to deepen our understanding of the situation of refugees being held in detention centers on our border during COVID-19 as they awaited their political asylum hearings. The outcome was for the students to write a letter to one of the detainees at the Otay Mesa Detention Center, providing a message of encouragement to them during the pandemic. In other words, we were establishing communication with individuals beyond the classroom setting. Students watched the film Icebox from HBO to better understand the situation of being held in detention. Then they chose three letters to read from the detainees held at the Otay Mesa Detention Center, which were part of the correspondence archives from the organization Allies to End Detention in San Diego. In these letters, the detainees explained why they had fled their home country and what life was like now in the center. Students made comparisons between the stories, looked for common themes, and made conclusions or inferences based on what they read. Students also participated in a Zoom meeting with my former student, who is now an immigration lawyer in San Diego, to ask him questions about the current conditions in the detention center during the pandemic and to learn more about the process of political asylum. Along the way, they learned how to use the formal commands or present subjunctive to give advice and make recommendations. And engaging lesson highlights the following elements for engagement. Emotionally and intellectually engaging topic with clear purpose as core. The teacher designed outcome tasks that students find meaningful. Lessons should have manageable learning chunks with opportunity to monitor progress. Interaction with other classmates, teacher, and outside experts promote engagement in learning. What does this learning mean to me and others? How can I impact the world with my newly acquired knowledge and skills? What skills do I need to gain? How am I moving towards my goal? What am I doing well? How can I improve? Who can help me understand the subject better? Who can clarify my questions? Who can push my thinking? Another way to engage students in learning is to let them be in charge of their own journey in learning. A successful student-centered lesson requires a mind shift from teaching to coaching. It helps students explore their interest in the target culture, asking a variety of types of questions to explore, relate to others, and expand students' curiosity is key in the initial stage. Helping students establish an outcome that showcases their learning and the impact on society can be done with level appropriate can-do statements in mind. What's the appropriate stretch? What's realistic? One second year Japanese student developed a children's story to educate and cheer up children in both the US and Japan during the COVID scare. He utilized his artistic talent to draw pictures and published a book in both Japanese and English with audio narration. He was able to acquire new COVID-related vocabulary and use the familiar sentence structures in Japanese that were repetitive yet rhythmic to convey his original story. He and other students shared their proud work on various topics doing an online celebration of learning event with over 500 people around the world. The Japanese Impact Project was so successful primarily because it included several elements for student engagement. First, there was student autonomy. Students could decide what actually mattered to them. There was the element also of self-expression. How can students best express their own thoughts and feelings. They got to decide this. They also got to design their own learning. They chose their plan, and they knew that they could receive support along the way if they got stuck. There was a wonderful celebration of learning 
so students actually could see how their work might impact the world. There was actually a place to share with an audience all of their hard work. And finally, there was the element of reflection. They could decide, hmm, what worked well? What didn't work so well? What might I do differently? What am I most proud of? And what do I get to do next? Additionally, in order for students to sustain engagement along the way, we must provide opportunities for small wins, wins which are directly connected to the final outcome. Communicating with students about the lesson's progress and how tasks are related to each other, as well as why this is important to learn, are also key for engagement. It is the combination of content and context that define impact for the learner. Lastly, providing students opportunities to both find and use their voices will enable them to lead their generation. With rich perspectives, with heart. Engaged students are unstoppable. We hope you will join us on the journey of creating an environment in which students make a deeper connection to their learning while engaging their hearts and minds.